Hey guys, Steven here. So, uh, just got this in the mail. <clears throat> and, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little build video. Show you what I'm gonna do to it. So, that's the Lee and Lee PC-011 Dynamic XL. This is the white version. So, let's go ahead and get started. So here is the PC-011 Dynamic XL. And as many of you know, so that is just a sticker. For those of you that uh, don't know, it just feels like a little sticker. So uh, it's a little bit bigger than the regular 011, I'll set them side by side here. Uh, it is a mess because I'm doing this in my kitchen. But uh, yeah, let me set them side by side. Alright, so as you can see, here's the PC-011 Dynamic, the original one. And uh, next to it's the XL. Yes, I had to go with the white because the black was not in stock. I've been waiting for this for uh, months ever since I found out that it was coming out. So, uh, the width is just a little bit uh, more, it's taller, and uh, so yeah, if I don't like how the white is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'll just uh, take everything out and paint it black. One thing I do like is this brushed finish in the front, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and start get building, and uh, I'll come back with some updates. All right, so a quick little update uh, for those of you that might plan on getting this case. Um, with the drive bays in the back here, I've been sitting here trying to pull this out, figure out how to get it out. What you have to do is there's a little thumb screw here. I mean, you will have to use a screwdriver at first because it's pretty tight. You'll unscrew that, and then you can slide over this little piece on the bottom. Um, I took this one out to see how it works. But... uh what you'll do is loosen this up. See, this one's still super tight. So let me grab a screwdriver. All right, so once you loosen that up, you'll slide that to the side, and then you can pull it out. So see, with this locked, screw down, they won't come out. So once you loosen this, see that there, it slides, so it'll allow these to come out. So I just kind of wanted to show that uh, real quick, and these are pre-wired hot swappable. All right, so quick little update. I got uh, motherboard installed, and then I got my Corsair fans. So I have three up top, one here, Three going down the side, and then three bringing air in. Uh, so that's a total of 10 Corsair fans. Those are the LL120 RGBs. I have my uh, pump bracket here. I did do a little modification to the bracket down here. Um, I did slide it slightly to the right, and then uh, brought it back a little bit, so my pump would be evenly mounted um, right here. Yes, it drives my OCD crazy. And there's kind of a look at it. And then I just mounted my LED strip down in the bottom there, all the way around the entire top of the case. And still have to put a little bit of double-sided tape um, up here. I'm just about done. And then I'm going to run the uh, wire for it. And then let me show you the back real quick. All right, and here's the back. So, uh, as you can see, yes, I have a hell of a lot of wires. These are actually all for the fans. But uh, I have started doing a little bit of cable management in here. So I got these little tie-down things here. So uh, now it's time for me to start doing some cable management. And uh, 
get it all plugged in, make sure it looks all nice. So uh, yeah, I have one Corsair LED fan hub here. I have another one that's gonna go down here on the bottom. And then my Commander Pro um, is gonna sit in there. It sits in there perfect. And as you can probably see from these little tags here, I just have the uh, fans marked right now of what their position is. It uh, gives it, it makes it a lot easier. So then I gotta start bending some pipe. Uh, some PETG, but uh, so far, yeah, I'm really, really liking this case, and I think the white is kind of growing on me. All right, so now I'm working on some tubing, getting some bends done. Um, that one right there was a freaking nightmare. Sorry the camera's so shaky, but uh, yeah, it's coming along. Uh, just trying to figure out how I want to do the rest of my runs. So, uh, quick little update and I will be back with some more all right so I have some of my bends done well I'm actually all my bends I should say and uh, I guess they turned out okay um, the hardest part is just trying to get them to line up so they look all even you know um, right now they might not look even because the computer I have it tilted up a little bit this way um so the radiator fluid is over there um as you can see it was getting into there and what i did was i accidentally tilted the case i had a plug on that side right there while i was doing some of these other bends and i accidentally tilted the case and filled up the cpu block so when i had to put the compression fitting in there i had to put a cup and some towels and stuff under there to catch some of that fluid um, but yeah, so I got my bends done and now I just got to finish up some cable management in the back. I have to wire up the pump and, uh, then I'm going to power it on here. Um, well not powered on, but get the fluid in, uh, using an external power supply and then we'll get it running. All right guys. So here we go. I got everything inside Got the panels on. Um, just the glass and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the power switch on give it a try all right power switch is on fingers crossed here we go That be back. Come on. There we go. Oops. And I'm in the bias, so I have a load screen. Nice. So Let me log in here really quick. Hopefully, maybe it'll stop all the unicorn puke. See if it'll load up my old Corsair profile. Uh, maybe. Anyways, let's uh, peel this. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Let's peel this off. Nice, satisfying peel. Get it all in one pull, but that's quite all right. Oh, yes. There we go. 
So if you guys have seen my other videos, see how I kind of changed up the uh, tubing a little bit. And um, yeah, I just got a few more little things here and there to do and uh, get the Corsair profile all set up, get the fans all in sync. But it looks like all the fans are on, all the LEDs are on. And yeah, this case was a joy to build in. So I've shot that, excuse me, I've shot this over the last three days. <clears throat> uh, it did take me, I was doing a little slow on this just because I wanted the cable management in the back to be perfect. So uh, I worked on it over the course of three days. Yesterday I worked on it for about eight hours and then I just worked on it today for about three or four to finish it up. Just doing some of the bends. Um, the bends are what took me the longest trying to figure out how I wanted it. Um, some of you are going to say it looks too busy, but that's how I like it. I like to see a lot of the tubing. Uh, I like to see a lot of the pipes. So I try to get some of these angles, um, you know, to match and look good. So, so after I've got all the lights set up and the profiles, that's what it looks like. So with this button here built onto the case, bottom one will change through solid colors. Top one will change through different lighting effects. And I think there's about 10 or 15 different ones. Uh, there's quite a few and they're actually pretty cool. I'm pretty surprised that uh, they packed that many different lighting effects into it. So there's my new build in the uh, Lee and Lee PC 011 Dynamic, the XL version. So uh, leave me a comment down below, guys. Let me know what you think. And. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Stay tuned for some more coming at you soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.